let me uh, quickly um, explain to you how to um, organize the application in Raymarine Axiom multifunction display. And um, this is my tip today for fellow Raymarine Axiom multifunction display owners. There are only two easy steps to do this. The first step is to press and hold anywhere on the black screen area until the pop-up screen showed up. And the second step is just choose one app per screen or because um, one app per screen is much easier on your eyes if you have a smaller um, LCD screen like 7 inches or even 9 inches. If you do have a 12 inches and 16 inches, then you're in luck because, you know, 12 inches and 9, 16 inches are certainly a lot bigger than the 7 inches and 9 inches. And um, you can see a lot um, much easier. So it's best to have just one app per screen instead of uh, multi um, apps per screen. But you do have the option if you want to see more details in the same screen. And my uh, last screen, um, so essentially I have the first um, page as one app only. Second page is two apps only. Um, my last page is just showing the fish finder only. So the first icon is one app per screen, um, fish finder. Second. Um, app is two fish finders per screen and then three fish finders per screen the last one is four fish finders per screen so by that I mean I have the traditional fish sonar traditional sonar in um, you know say the top left quadrant and then the down vision on the top right quadrant and then the side vision on the lower left and the 3D on the lower right. And there's the four um, sonar views in one screen if I want to see that much detail. Um, so let me, um, so that's what I have here. And um, let me go to this, um, let me play this uh, video for you. So basically, you need to go to. Um, so again, I recorded uh, the Axiom screen from onto my iPhone, and then use my embedded the iPhone embedded uh, screen recorder to record this video for you. So um, that's why the, the, there was that uh, Wi-Fi connection between my phone and um, Axiom multifunction display. So you do not want to uh, do this in the skipper profile. You want to do it rather. You want to do this in the Mavic. Pro, well, I named it Mavic Pro Drum uh, profile, but you can uh, name it anything you want, um, but just not inside the skipper profile. You can't do this in the skipper profile. You have to customize it um, in your own uh, user profile. And let's keep playing. Okay, so now I'm in my user, my own created uh, manual. And the, as you can see here, I decided my first page is going to. Oh, by the way, this is Lighthouse 3.7.70 that's just released October last month, 2018. It has the ability to control the drone which is on man aviation vehicle right here. Um, and um, so I have the first app as the fish finder for the entire screen. Second one is the chart for the entire screen. The third app is just the drone live video view from uh, for the entire screen and then radar for the entire screen and then dashboard and then video camera and the audio. And then my second screen is going to be two apps. That is the combination of, oh, by the way, so if um, the, the way I got to this page, like I said, it's I 
press and hold, say this, you know, black area on the screen, press and hold until a uh, pop-up menu like this one show up. I'll show you. There we go. Um, and then you will, you know, go to this full screen, and then you can choose. You can choose, you know, whether it's full screen, two apps, um, left and right, or two apps up and down, or uh, three apps this way, and three apps this way, three apps this way, and then the four apps. Um, so you can choose any of these by touching um, this button, these these radio buttons in the front here, and then you can just you know tap um, any of these app um, and then it will um, select the appropriate that apps and move it into the right place for example right now I'm selecting an app you know and that's it's now this is up and down and this is the three apps you know one here and two over here and then this one is two on the left side one on the right hand side and this is one and then two at the bottom which is this guy and this is two on the top and then one at the bottom for the three apps. And then this is four apps. A quad. Okay, so you can choose. So I'm, you know, here I'm choosing chart and sonar and I'm selecting something here. Oh, radar. And then this one is just camera video. There we go. And so you can see chart, fish finder, radar. Okay, so uh, I go to the second page, and you know here you can just press and hold. The way to get this pop-up button is this pop-up button is you just press and hold any of these two apps or any of the apps, and this pop-up atom pop-up menu will come up. And the choices are customized. You can customize this, these two apps instead of, for example, instead of uh, chart and fish finder, you can change this to um, UAV or the drone app or, you know, this one you can change the chart, you know, whatever, you know. So any of the uh, apps that's available. And you can also delete this two apps combo. You can rename this two apps combo. Right now it's UAV slash video. You can rename that too. Okay, so let's keep playing. Yeah, most people um, probably can't do uh, much fishing, fishing right now because um, it's kind of cold uh, and bad weather. So, um, you know, now is the best time to update your uh, Raymarine Axiom uh, Lighthouse um, software to the most recent one uh, 3.7.70 that was just released in uh, October last month so here I'm just showing you um, you know the customize you know changing to different orientations or different combos you know left uh, up right, up down and then I chose the sonar for the top and then um, I chose the chart for the bottom so there we go fish finder chart you know and you can see here and I think here I am um, fish finder chart and I'm renaming it I think yeah yeah, I'm gonna rename it to something random, you know, JJJJ, and then forward slash. So I'm looking for forward slash. Um, I believe I, you know, have to hit this button here in order to find the forward slash. There we go, forward slash here. Okay, and then I just type something random, JJJJ, HYT, you know, just for the heck of it, you know. So this new app becomes that, and then you can just, you know. Yeah, I didn't have the transducer connected. That's why it's saying, oh, it's like a sonar channel or, you know, no transducer. So now you can also delete. You just press and hold those uh, the, these two app, uh, combo and then um, you can delete it. So there you have it. Um, very easy. You know, organize your chart um, uh, before you get on the water. It's going to make your fishing um, and boating so much more fun than... Uh, when you don't have an organizer, you're trying to fumble through these apps and, you know, look for the right apps, um, you know, which is a pain in the neck.
because when you're on, on the water, you really uh, don't have time to, you really can't afford time to spend on you know, playing this uh, complicated fish finder. Okay, good luck. And thanks for watching.